All right, so I was messing about on my main character the other day and was running the PTS when my camp got nuked. And I'd been expecting this for a while and because I am currently located just south of the Mononga Mine. So with the introduction of the Colossal Problem event, the mine is getting nuked all the time on public servers and my camp's just no longer viable. So I figure I'll go ahead and do a quick video about it because this is one of the first big builds I made so I kind of enjoyed it. Um, you can see we're on part of the old mining section here. There's a little mine track and there's a mine back behind it. And one of the other reasons I liked it is this gorgeous view. You can see top of the world out in the distance, the power Mononga power plant and the actual town. And then way over there is the uh, where the Brotherhood of Steel are going to be setting up. So that's pretty cool. But anyway, so I, I built this place. It's got a nice little lead set mine here. You can ignore Beckett. He's just there because I was finishing up his quest line. Um, I got two water purifiers outside here. The veranda goes all the way around. My little veggie station here, mostly used for brewing. And as I said, the mine tracks go all the way to this closed up mine section here. Mobs tend to spawn here, especially super mutants, but that's normally only an issue when coming back and forth between it. You can see I had to clear off some bugs when I first came in. One cool thing I found out about these scarecrows is they will actually attract the attention of people over your plants. And apparently there's something chewing on something probably trapped underneath my uh, container here. That happens a lot. Oh, nope. We've got ourselves. There we go. We'll just take care of that. Um, I got a nice artillery set up here. And then on the veranda is where I basically threw all of my crafting materials. Uh, my little alpine horn guy. I don't know why, but I find him amusing. Hey, we're up in the mountains, so makes sense. Uh, I've been using these weapon boards to throw up tools, so I thought that was kind of cool. I probably should use a smaller one, but like I said, this was built a while ago. This is an older one. Nothing super special. Like I said, the view on the veranda, awesome. Pretty much nowhere then I've got my vendor. At one point I had three vendors set up here and someone came through and bought every plan I had. I only put them on for like five caps because who cares. So part of the entranceway is I've got my radiation. And as you just see, I've got a pressure plate all wired up here. That's what all this funky wiring is for. So basically, power comes in, hits that back post, which goes to the pressure plate, goes up to the other post, which then goes to the arch. So when you step on the plate, the plate goes green, and the arch activates. Nice, simple, but still pretty cool. Now, the in as we can see, I've got my power armor stand here as well. And then my interior, like this was actually once a mountain home for someone, so we got TV area, dining area, our kitchen with Edertronic milk, the new uh, clean wash basin from the recent run. Then over here I've put up my, some of my trophies as a mistress of mysteries as well as my uh, fire breather helmet. I love these fan lights. They're awesome. I use them all over the place. I hit the jackpot Got two squares. Posters from all the various things. Almost, almost complete selection of bobbleheads. I'm still keeping an eye out for the luck one. Pool table and pool cue ready for use. It's like my Nuka-Cola fanboy room. 
And then one of my favorite things is this new door they added a while back. And then we have my little brewery. So this is my little craft brew distillery area. And then we go up and we have our personal section. Normally I use the uh, astronaut companion and I have her set up here, but this is just like my little personal room. Got my ammo converter and my ammo generator, a couple beds, this cool little fireplace. This is a very early atomic shop item that I just love the look of. I put it on the flat top roof because from the, if you marry it up to that, the smoke will actually kind of come off the top of it. So you can pretend that the chimney is emptying there. I was super glad when they added wallpaper. You can see I'm using it all over the place. The contemporary building set was also a really nice addition. Yep, you can kind of see. Yes, yes, you're junk. You can see the uh, lovely smoke coming off the top from that fireplace, but yes. So just a a farewell to my favorite little mountain home. Okay, so, and here we are during the middle of a nuclear thunderstorm. As you can see, it's destroyed everything but Beckett's bar for some reason. My poor Collectron, dead. Everything's blasted to the foundations. All the framework, the flooring pieces remain. All of my turrets are down, but the physically are there. All my stuff. Yep, just everything new. Such a gorgeous sunset. But yes, this is why I am forced to relocate my camp. Because, as we can see, it's become a bit of a nuclear hotspot. 